What's up folks, Spencer here. Uh, today I wanted to quickly walk through just kind of a thinking process. I'm playing around with the idea of building an app and I just kind of want to walk you through uh, the, uh, how. I just want to walk you through my thought process on kind of planning the data, planning the requirements, and then trying to break this down into a uh, very simple MVP of what can I actually build in a relatively short amount of time because I would like to use this uh, in the very near future. So to give a little context, uh, basically this app would be to help you learn equipment on a variety of different trucks that move around uh, between different stations, between different departments, all kinds of stuff. Uh, basically a way to help familiarize you with all this different stuff. So basically the way the, this is all organizational based, but overarching, we're going to have like a department, all right? So within a department, a department can have multiple stations inside of it. So basically a station is, you know, a physical location. A department's kind of like an overarching uh, administrative thing. Uh, within a station, we're going to have multiple, we'll call them just vehicles. Uh, and then within a vehicle, there's going to be multiple locations. And then within each location, uh, there's going to be tools. So basically... We've got this department, we've got these stations. Each station has many vehicles. Each vehicle has many locations and each location has many tools. So what we've got going on here is this has many relationship, uh, basically going down this whole chain. So department has many stations, a station has many vehicles, a vehicle has many locations, and a tool has nothing. A tool is just a tool. So that's, that's kind of how that's all set up. Now, so thinking about this right now, basically I'm the only one who's going to use this. Um, the way I can think about it, like ideally in the future, I would like this to be a tool that's shared amongst everyone within in the department. Uh, but right now it would just be me. And like I said, I want to do this in as minimal time as possible. So what I can do, uh, let's do, we can call this high level. And then we'll create a new thing down here. And we're going to create this MVP data. I'll actually call this one full data and MVP data. So since it's just me, I'm just going to worry about a single station. So I don't really have to worry about that. Uh, but I there are multiple vehicles. So I need, I'm really going to worry about the vehicles. Every vehicle has multiple locations, and then each location has multiple tools. So with that in mind, well, we, we know if we were going to build out this database, say in something like Postgres, we could go ahead and create a station reference and a department reference uh, there if we wanted to. I could just hard code those in at this point, and that'd be perfectly fine. But looking at the actual like screens or, uh, you know, requirements, re, uh, screens or requirements. So looking at these uh, basic pieces of data, since I just carry, we're just referencing this MV, MVP data down here, uh, this is what I'm interested in. So with that in mind, how could we do this? Well, let's go ahead and say, well, we need to list vehicles. Actually, let's break this down by vehicles or each like data type. So we need a way to list them. We need a way to add. We need a way to edit and a way to delete. So basically we need a CRUD list. We need to create, read, update, destroy. Uh, we need to list them. So actually we'll have a list all and we'll have a lit or view single. Yeah, so we'll have a vehicle. We want to see a list of the vehicles. We want to be able to tap into that, see one vehicle, and then we want to be able to edit or remove that single vehicle, and then going back to that list vehicle view. Um, that's the point where we could add a new vehicle. So that's good. Now, so looking below that, we've got locations. Uh, what would we want to do for location? So basically, a location is going to live... Um, it belongs to a vehicle, so we know it's going to 
be directly related to that. It'll be the locations will basically be listed on the view single page. So we need to be able to list all locations um, on vehicle single view. And then we'll also need to be able to view a single location. Let's actually go ahead and add this up here. Okay, so we need to be able to list all the vehicle or the all locations that's going to take place on the vehicle single view. We'll then want to be able to go into a single view or a single location, which would then be another list, but we'll get to that. Um, and then also just like the vehicle, we'll want to be able to add, edit, and delete. Um, going back down to the actual tools, we know a tool. So we'll want to be able to list all the tools. Um, we'll want like a details screen. So we'll just call this view single slash details. Uh, and then again, uh, we'll want that add, edit, delete. So as I'm looking through this, actually, let's add list all tools. This will be on the uh, location single, single view. Okay, so that kind of gives us a breakdown of screens. We see we've got a lot of similarities. They've all got add edit screens. It's basically just a whole bunch of lists. Um, yeah, so what would they actually need to be able to do or what do these screens need to do? Well, this screen's going to need to be able to request uh, and display data. This one's going to have to just display data because we can assume, well, we may want to request data from there as well. Um, add screen, add screen, we're going to want to, for vehicle, we'll want to be able to uh, capture a name, description, and a photo would be really valuable as well. So there's that. Um, I'm just gonna skip the request and display data on the other ones just because it's gonna be the same. Edit's going to be the same as add, just you know, you're editing the data and delete is obvious. If, if you're not sure on delete, then I don't know. All right, so looking at a location, a location on a vehicle, uh, we're going to have a name that's going to describe where it is on the vehicle. Um, we're also going to have a description here. Maybe it could just be like an overview of what high level that area is for. And then within there, let's also, let's do a photo so we could do like an overall, step it on cats, overall view of that. So yeah, I think that's, again, name, description, photo. That's all we need to do for the tools as well. Okay. Well, I don't really need to save this. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much set up. I've got kind of the high level data structure that I would want to take care of um, that would get me pretty far really. And then kind of the MVP data are the things that I'll actually need to mutate and read and modify uh, in this initial version. And then taking this data, we've gone ahead and kind of broken down what all do we need to do with that data. We need to basically do the CRUD operations. We need to create, read, update, and destroy it. And then we've also looked at uh, kind of what are the properties of each one of those things. So a vehicle is going to have a name, a description, and then we could actually have, let's just say photos. Uh, maybe you want to take a picture of something from a different direction, whatever it may be. So we could also kind of figure out what do these forms end up looking like? They're going to have a text field, um, a text area, and then a way for a person to capture and then take a photo. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And like, as I'm looking at this, I think this should be a it doesn't have to be pretty. It's just for me or a bunch of government personnel if they want to use it. Uh, so it's really just about capturing data and then making it available. And then just for fun, something I'm looking forward to or looking into the future kind of beyond even like when I've got these other data types in there too, 
go ahead and modify and whatever. Uh, what would be cool and really valuable in the learning process of where all this equipment is, is actually taking this information where the tools are, the locations, the vehicles, all that kind of stuff. Uh, really, location and tools is primary use case for this. Um, taking this data that's been input, one, that's a learning experience, and just inputting that data, you're learning what everything is, where it is. Um, but basically, you could take this data then and then go ahead and generate like quizzes off of it. So, okay, what is this tool's name, description, whatever it may be, uh, based on photo. Or you could take, you know, uh, give a name and give four pictures. Choose the appropriate tool based off of this name, just so you can learn those different things. But that's going kind of further down the line, um, and I think we've got the data in a way that's kind of, you know, simple enough for us. We could do that uh, if we so desire in the future. But what's most important, which I think a lot of people forget to do is like, okay, I've got this big vision of, you know, multiple departments, multiple stations, multiple vehicles, all that stuff. I want to be able to generate quizzes. I want to do all this different stuff with this data. But let's take a step back. How can I build something? I've got this vision in the future. That's perfectly fine. Have a big vision. But how can I take a step back? Take a step back. Take a step back. I can't take too many steps back. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear me. Um, and basically, how can I use that in a way, this, use this big vision in a way to allow me to actually build something, you know, in this next month, in this next uh, week, in this next day? Let's constantly break this down, take this big vision, break it down, break it down, break it down, break it down into something we can build as soon as possible and really start iterating, iterating on that because right now, you know the least you're going to know about this project. You're only going to learn more and more and more as you're uh, iterating on it, exper uh, actually getting experience with it, so on and so forth. So that's kind of some kind of the main point of all of this is just take your data, take your vision, break it down, break it down, break it down into something you can really start building and actually using as soon as possible. So I hope you found my random ramblings and my brain dump somewhat useful and valuable. If you did, let me know, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.